two clone spells with the battle blimp gets crazy value even the single target inferno welcome back to the channel my name is carmen finn today we have war number two here in the cwl we did win war number one which ended up being a score of 39 to 34 but we are now playing this clan who did get 44 yeah in the first war but because that clan when we play them in war number six is going to have like town hall 12s and 13s why is it in the cwl i had or champs one i have no idea but either way we've got a couple attacks to do so this is a symmetrical base and we are noticing one two three and four air expo so and this one what i'm going to try to do is get my queen to this town hall so i was thinking about a couple different scenarios but the best thing i thinking to doing here is to drop a balloon uh blimp into this top section take out this multi-target inferno but the big reason why up there is because i want to pull that clan castle so as this balloon blimp and once the blimp pops and all this stuff is starting to hit my yetis i'm going to drop a wizard up here to at least try to help funnel the army camp or at least funnel this maybe yeah if i funnel this then i can get the queen to go this way right if the queen then goes that way i can wall break the queen into here and then here so i'm gonna wall break here i'm gonna wall break here so that's gonna be three wall breakers or uh, two and then another one right here so my queen can go this way then i'm gonna drop my king so my king can go over here so i'm probably may have to drop like a minion over here to help grab this so my king will go like this 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 hopefully the king and his ability help take out this multi um because i want them to funnel that but then the queen she charges here so she'll kill the cc out over here don't have to worry about this expo hitting her she'll charge her way into here my king goes into here drop probably my royal champion help assist take out the enemy king then my rc continues through here to take out this take out that then i send the dragon riders from the bottom side move my way around so the biggest threat remaining is the queen air defense scatter and then the multi-target inferno so kind of this section over here so at the Time the warden ability for headhunters as I push my way through this backside and finish up like that. So that's the plan. We're live. We don't have a jump spell for this attack, so hopefully we don't need it. So let's go and drop a balloon and then a blimp right through here. Blimp pop like this. Drop the wizard over here. So no, okay, so no rage is needed for this. Perfect. Perfect. Yeti, my, Yeti, take that out. So I drop the queen over here. Drop a balloon. Drop a super wall break like this. We killed off that CC. And let's drop the healers onto this queen. Okay, so she'll take care of this. That super wall break over here. Let's drop a minion like this. All right, so we're easily pushing through this uh, CC right here. Okay, we drop another balloon right into this section. I'm gonna drop the furthest uh, seat rage on the on here first. Let's go ahead and drop another super wall break here. Drop a balloon. Right, so the queen should step in. Drop another balloon for this charge. Okay. While the queen's ta tanking that, let's push the king into here. All right, so the king's moving in. Perfect. The queen's going over there. Let's go and pop king ability. Drop the royal champ. Get the queen uh, raged up through here. She's tanking all of that. We're pushing our way into here. Drop a minion or two. Queen's taking the town hall down. Do I need a freeze? I don't. I can just rage her up again. Okay, so she's tanking all this perfectly. Let's drop another rage for her. Keep that charge moving. And let's drop a uh, balloon. Some dragon riders. Warn on air. Drop some minions as we push our way through. So this RC is getting some fantastic value so far. And I can't drop, I can drop maybe a minion up here. Minion down south. We got another two freezes. Queen is looking strong. Go and rage this queen up through here. Oh, this is looking fantastic. Let's drop some headhunters. Run across. We can pop the warden internal tome. And warden ability right about now. Skip the cross. We got an invis. Use some of you. We freeze this back section for that. Make the RC invisible and look at this value that we were able to push our way through. Absolutely crushing it. Drop some of that. Don't have to worry. I can freeze up this. Why not? The king is still alive. The queen is still moving her way right through the core. And yeah, this was a relatively easier attack here. Uh, pop this queen ability to help a little bit. Now it's just a matter of cleanup and the queen charge 
was able to get all the Town Hall. Didn't need a jump because she just relied on her pushing her way into the middle. Starting this off with a three star. We got the triple there. Now let's see if we can take on number 12. So we got this base here. And what do I have cooked up? I've got the Hydra. We've got dragons. We've got dragon riders, some sneaky goblins, some, a super wall break. But the big thing is we have a double clone through here and then the blimp. So let's take a look at where the sweepers are. So we have a sweeper that's pointing this way. We have a sweeper that's pointing this way. So this whole area is not hitting. So we could potentially send the blimp from this way. And big thing when you want to use a clone spell is look at the value around the town hall. So there's a lot here. We have a single target inferno, grand warden, Eric. We have a lot of stuff over here, which can be fantastic if we take down. So the plan's going to be drop a sneaky goblin here and then drop two, uh, uh, two a sneaky goblin for each one of these. And then one for this to force the king this way. Wall break right here. I'm going to drop a wizard to try to grab this army camp. And then I'm going to drop my queen to hopefully go for here, 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 and then she walks in. So the wall break here, because if I wall break right here, the queen may walk this way, want the cannon, and then she continues to walk that way. So it's important if I wall break right here, it brings the queen this way. Then she wants to go for the wizard tower. Since this stuff is down, she'll then hopefully charge in, right? So while, then we'll kill off the king, we'll kill off the queen. Hopefully through this charge, we'll drop the nice golem here as well, which I think I have. Yep. And then we'll drop the royal champion to go and grab the scatter shot in this section there. So if our heroes can take out this whole compartment right here, royal champion grabs this, then that's going to set up a natural funnel to push our dragons and dragon riders right through the base like this. Then we drop a late blimp with a warden ability to go over the town hall, drop like a dragon over here to funnel to force them straight in. And then this is going to be the key thing is we might have to use a freeze on the town hall. Depends on where the tornado trap is, probably over here somewhere. And then we drop a we drop a rage spell like this so that we can drop a clone spell right here and then another clone spell over here. So basically the balloons will clone here and then the clone balloons will get cloned so they take out all of this, right? And so then the dragons and dragon riders go up and around here. Hopefully they kind of split and then, and then it's really just seeing where they go and getting all that value. So we got a few minions. We got a super wall break, a few balloons. And yeah, that's the plan. Let's get it. So sneaky goblin. Let's switch this to a blimp. Sneaky goblin here, here and here. Oh, we got a Tesla farm over there. Okay. Super wall break like this. Let's go and get the king down right here. Go and get an ice golem as well with a queen and a wizard right here onto this army camp. And then King's gonna push his way in. Queen steps into here. Let's drop you. And then King's ability. The queen is uh, over the wall, so that's good. The enemy queen got frozen. Oh, the RC's ability is gonna have to go off. Uh, okay, can we take out the scatter shot or even the enemy queen? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, maybe? The queen? Oh, perfect. Yes, the RC still gets the scatter. Oh, just in time. Perfect. We got that value. Great job. So, we can drop a minion potentially. Let's see where the queen's going. She's going here. Her ability could actually step in and grab this multi. Oh, she grabs the air defense. Pop her ability. Oh, she does not go and step in for the multi-target inferno. So let's drop a balloon, dragon here. Let's drop a minion, like right there. Drop some of you. Drop some of the dragons. Balloon, dragon, dragon. Some more balloons, balloons, dragon. The warden's on air. Drop some dragon riders. Save one dragon rider. I'm gonna drop a rage through here. I wanna, I wanna force this dragon rider to the multi-target inferno here. Oh, they do path there anyways. Drop this blimp to go for Okay, we got a bunch of red air bombs through there. Okay, so we're pushing it through here. We got the warden ability right about now. Let's go and clone here and clone here and rage leading into here. There they go. Clone. Will they clone? Yes, perfect. They clone straight over that single target inferno. Brilliant. Let's go and freeze this uh, right there. All right, so we take out that multi target inferno. Dragon's pushing through this top side. We take out that section, drop some minions over here. We got dragons coming up and around. We can drop an archer there, archer here, and this is looking good. So this warden is going to freeze you. It's going to rage leading into this air defense and brilliant. So the Hydra pushed our way straight through. The cloned was a the clone spell cloned leading into the single. So when you have a lot of value around the town hall, then that clone spell can really push those balloons straight across and they went perfectly for the single, took out that right side, and the dragons 
Royal Champion take out the right. We funneled perfectly straight to the Town Hall. And we are able to get another three star here. And now let's try to go three for three. We've got ourselves a Zap Dragon. So we've got nine dragons here. Two Rock Balloons, Balloons, Dragon Rider. And we have two Dragon Riders here. 15 Sneaky Goblins. Oh boy. All right, so what's the plan here? So I don't have any Poison Spell. I will probably pull out the CC. So I probably should actually take some Archers in case I pull out Lava Hound, which I probably end up will. Um, but let's see. So here's the base. And we look at this base. We're like, what in the world? Uh, really? I, when I see four ac ground expos, one, two, three, and four, it's telling me maybe go in with something air, right? So I'm going to try to Lightning the Queen, drop seven Lightning Spells to help take her down and this multi-target Inferno. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop my king like this so he goes this way have royal champion go like this grab the scatter shot and then as the king moves his way this way i'm probably gonna drop an ice golem and queen down here um or maybe i drop the queen a little bit behind a step up mm, maybe eh, the queen could come down here pop her ability and so uh what they can do is they can take all this stuff down down here including the king and all this value while the royal champion grabs that uh, drop the balloon and a minion to take this out so that when I pop the RC ability, maybe it skips here, goes up and takes out the air defense, or it will go here and take out this air defense here, damage that, take out the builder hut or something along those lines, either one. Um, and then I'm going to drop the balloons, dragons to move my way through. The reason why I'm taking less dragon riders and more dragons is because there's a lot of like trash stuff up here. And if I drop a bunch of dragon riders, they're going to outpace my dragons. So I want to keep the, the main army kind of together a lot longer. So they push their way through here. They are able to take out the road champ and the blimp comes across. Warren ability, make sure that it gets to the town hall. That's obviously the trickiest part. And then I'm secure. I'm trying to take out the town hall with all the sneakies. So they take the town hall down and then the dragons continue their push right around the base like this. And if my queen takes out this bottom side, really all they got to do is kind of finish towards this section over here. And if they take that down. So, um, yeah. So, oh, and then the reason why I have rock balloons is because if I take this down and the RC ability goes this way, then I drop two rock balloons to pick off this air defense just for pathing, take that out. But if the RC ability goes up to the top side, then I drop a balloon minion and then two rock balloons to go in for this air defense over here. Why not? You know what? Just to kind of help so this air defense doesn't hit me as I push my way through. So, yeah, that's the plan. Make sure we lightning this queen. Let the queen take her time around this base. Let's go and switch to this battle blimp because that needs to take out the town hall. Okay, so we got this. Okay, I know I can't place that troop, but here's the lightning. Queen, where you going? One more step, one more step, queen. And right there, queen. Down she goes. Let's go ahead and go with the king right here. Boom, king, and then royal champion, and then a wizard, maybe behind. The king hopefully goes and makes his way right. Perfect. Let's go with an ice golem and a queen down here. Looks like we found a Tesla farm. We're gonna drop a balloon and a minion. That mortar goes down. King's ability. Scatter shot. We're gonna have to prop her ability. Oh, oh, okay. So it skips up to the top side over there. So RC goes to here. She looks like she's gonna die off. So my queen is still pushing her way through. So we can actually probably take out uh, this drop a dragon over here and then our queen and our ability will take out that single all right so then we can drop two rocket loons probably like this boom boom pick that off and all right so drop a balloon I drop a dragon drop some more balloons dragons up through here all right so we're gonna put the warden on air as we push our way around all right so dragons are making their way in all right so we gotta drop a rage spell oh, not yet Okay, so we're making our way through here. Oh, Warden's gonna be getting hit here. Oh, Warden's ability's gonna be forced, so I'm gonna rely. This blimp now needs to make it to the town hall. Uh-oh, here we go, let's go and rage. Oh, let's drop a blimp. Let's drop a dragon rider. Oh boy, I'm actually pushing him straight to the town hall here. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and drop a freeze onto the town hall. Drop another dragon rider over on this side. Oh no, I pushed him straight into the town hall. Why'd I do that? Sneakies will do that, but the warden's gonna be getting hit. They're gonna get hit right onto the town hall. No! Dang, the headhunters, the dragons were not able to pick them off. That air defense, maybe I should have walked the queen a little bit more right or left to pick that off uh, to help them. Drop the dragon riders here, drop an archer, but there was a Tesla farm, so I was thinking there was a Tesla farm down south, but 
could not have afforded to have the dragons go into the town hall. Ah, dang, dragons. I feel like if... Maybe if I drop the queen a little bit left to pick, pick more of this left side off to... And then have dragons move a little bit uh, closer together so that the headhunters didn't smash through my warden. And then I just would have had to have that blimp come a lot earlier. And I think it would have been a completely different story, so... Yeah, that town hall poison smashes through my dragons. Unfortunately, I can't go three for three. Rip! But we're definitely going to win this war here. Down goes the final dragon. Maybe I try to clean this up and see. Make that make fix the mistake. It's been 24 hours, and let's go ahead and fix our fail. And this time, we're actually going to come in with a different attack than what we did. We're going to be using the blimp to funnel and push our queen closer to that town hall. I wanted to see if I could... Take a little bit more of a risk of like, well, I didn't want to take as much of a risk before. So let's see. Let's drop a balloon and then the blimp going into the scatter shot. What we're not going to do is we are not going to drop a rage spell here. So let's go and pop that blimp. Let's go and drop a wizard and then the queen right through here. And the queen will walk her way down. So the yetis take this down. So what this is going to do is we're going to path this queen to the town hall, which means we do have to use this king down here to funnel so let's go and drop a balloon here maybe drop an archer down the army camp and then these healers onto you drop a balloon here and we can probably drop a headhunter onto this defending king and bam pop the king ability right through here and this queen is going to be pushing her way through so this king is setting the funnel and this ground expo is going to push my queen straight into here so let's go ahead and drop a super wall break there maybe another one like this let's go and drop a rage for this queen and drop a few loons so we wall break our way to the town hall she steps directly into here let's go ahead and drop you and let's go and freeze this but let's see so where's this queen going so queen is not stepping her way into the town hall just yet but we do have a jump spell so the wall breaks unfortunately the queen at this point we don't know which direction this queen's gonna go but we can drop a minion to go like this and then we could take out the top side so let's go and drop a royal champion once this queen kind of gets Locked on by the ground expo. Uh, we're gonna be patient a little bit. We got a minute 40 seconds left So we have to drop a rage through like this and drop the royal champion down and around here So now we're gonna go ahead and jump right to this town hall Let's drop a few balloons and then some dragon riders the queen. We're not air Let's Go ahead and make the queen invisible here. Let's go and protect the healers and drop some uh, headhunters like this Queen is gonna have to burn her ability through the enemy royal champ and let's see, the queen's continuing her way through. Let's go and drop another rage for these healers. They're getting hit by these seeking it, or these right here bombs. Um, drop a minion down here. Queen stepping in. We can go and try to freeze this single right through here. And so we can push our way through. Let's go and drop another rage for this queen. Hopefully she can make her way through. Pop the RC ability. Skips across. She steps into that single target inferno. Locks onto it. We can pop. Oh, down that goes. We can pop the warden ability through a seeking air mine there. And let's drop a baby dragon to try to take out a Tesla. Why not? Drop that there. We can drop a headhunter for cleanup. Queen's coming around. Drop some minions on the top side. And yeah, I should have probably done something like this where I could have path the queen to the town hall. If she doesn't go for the multi, then you could just still react, right? The queen can step into the town hall. You can jump her in just in case. So the jump is kind of on the safe side, but this is what I probably should have done uh, obviously you think about it after everything's all finished up but hey that's how you three star at least that base right there with a queen charge dragon rider and the final score well we have used 12 attacks they've used 14 we're tied up on stars percentage we're down a bit but it's seven to four they do have a one star as well so we are going to win this war here in war number two here hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content See you guys tomorrow.